Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this little ranked session that I had with Tom Dukenwa. And like the main goal with him was to try and pick someone who's like not top tier at 135 in, in, in UFC 3 and kind of make a make a good striking game work uh, against whatever opponent comes across. And if you pay attention, I try to balance out my stamina management and the volume of my strikes like the uh, amount of output that I do on my opponents and like really really been working on that like still being very active even though being on the uh, back foot more uh, keeping the fight on the outside for me and then just start uh, I mean stop and throw stationary effective quick punches However, the very first fight right here, the very first one here, was the was the worst attempt at it. It was basically the worst match that I had in this session. And um, but nonetheless, you you might enjoy this fight against um, this player picking Rafael Sanso. Mad props for that guy. Uh, not a fighter I see a lot. Basically, a lot of people just pick Cody. Or TJ at Bantamweight. A lot of people pick Mighty Mouse of, in, at Bantamweight because of his crazy stats there. And the ability to simply move out of space more efficiently, quicker at, you know, like basically being the smallest guy. Uh, Mighty Mouse, that is, at 135. But yes, yeah, so mad, mad props for Jet Jordan 1812 for picking a Sansel. Um, I guess a good, very good submission artist, grappler. So we had no big intentions here. Why why do I why do I use the word we? Why do I did I just use the word we? Can someone clear that mystery for me? Can someone just solve this puzzle by a YouTuber do that? And comment down below your opinion. Comment down below your opinion, what I just told, what I just said, how you play with Tom Dukuma in this video. <laughs> uh. But yeah, like I was about to say, uh, try to really find a good clean balance of striking output and stamina management. However, this fight here was the worst example of that. I literally sucked from the very start. Uh, I was able to hit this Sanzo player a couple times, but got hit a lot more myself. But throughout the video, you will see that eventually we got. I just said we again. You you do nothing. You do nothing here, yeah. Look at me just getting flat light and being lucky. He, that motherfucker just stepped over me. Like this, this disrespect, the disrespect. Can't believe that step. But yeah, we will not give up. Um, my main, mis my main mistakes here were distance management, poor, really poor, and then the uh, the attractiveness of flashy techniques like flying knees. And, well, a high kick isn't a very flashy technique, but eventually I was messing them up. Eventually I was gassing myself out for no reason. And like, for me, I started, I'm starting viewing this game more as a chain of micro stamina battles. You know what I mean? Like, if you win more and more micro stamina battles going up against other players, eventually you will have the upper hand in most aspects of the fight. What you can't do that, what you can't do while you're winning these stamina battles, is getting tagged all the time. Because even though, even though your opponent has lower overall permanent stamina, he eventually will only need a just... A couple of clean strikes and it might be fight over so therefore you you must be schooled you must be very uh, efficient with uh, with avoiding getting finished 
with avoiding getting your block breaking uh, broken with avoiding like just getting hit a lot consecutive times and like I said this fight was definitely not my best uh, performance <laughs> not close but it is about to get better it is about to get better and for some reason nonetheless uh, this is a fight that I mean when I talk about the most epic comeback I had this Asenso fight will be the most epic comeback performance that I had on this game like, look second round I'm like down to like what is it 30 40 that's not 40 that's like 35 percent permanent stamina I'm getting rocked once more duck a head kick taunt him <laughs> Trying to get this psychological warfare going. But that's definitely a mistake that he does. I mean, they patch down high kicks. Uh, duck, duck the high kick and counter um, damage. But if you hit it on the very right window, your counter that is, you will eventually still score something big. Health event, knock down, knock out. Um, and yeah, if that guy keeps going for it, he will eventually pay for it if you don't set your high kicks up. There's another example uh, in a I'm in, in another match here, right right here in this video at the end, I believe. Not at the end, but somewhere. Against a Cody Garburn fighter. He miss, misses head kicks, just like this Asensio player. And I eventually land on him pretty clean and it doesn't do anything he has just a slow stamina he did not set that high kick up whatsoever but he did you know he did not get punished as much as a sans is about to be to get punished also let's talk about setting like right there drop them Let's talk about real quick um, about high kicks. Huge tip: if you're in the right distance, you know your fighter's uh, leg reach, kicking reach, range. Sorry, um, you should prefer throwing single head kicks from a stationary position. That's for sure. Like right there. See, no movement. Thumbs away from the left stick, no needed, quicker high kick, uh, less, more, more surprising, less predictable, quicker and stronger. If you move forward, however, you will cover a little more reach, obviously, while you throw that high kick. Um... But, but you will have also a bigger startup frame, which makes for, like there, for less predictability. Oh, sorry, I mean less unpredictability. And as I just said that, we just saw that uh, knockout. I was like totally losing this fight. But you can't be, he can't be mad. I mean, he cannot be mad at this at all because he kept doing the same mistake like I just dropped him a few minutes ago because he didn't set, set his high kick up at all no setups whatsoever how do you set a high kick up you go for a jab cross body kick you go for a jab cross body kick jab cross body kick and then you do a jab cross lead kick uh, sorry lead roundhouse kick to the head that's one option how you can then high kicks another option is fake something faint and then go for the head kick just go just go for inside low kicks or outside low kicks make force your opponent to drop his block at kicking range low like when you see that you guys are in that that head kick was good by that guy by that goblin fighter so basically if you guys are in kicking range and you just like you you just keep throwing low kicks or low kicks combinations 
<laughs> he will eventually, your opponent will eventually simply try to try to block them. He will eventually try to worry about his low block more than his high block whenever you are in kicking range and that opens up some high kicks for you. That single thrown high kicks. But if you're like the Essential player, you can't get mad at getting knocked out if you keep on throwing and even keep on getting countered by single shot high kicks. Sorry, I'm kind of messing my commentary up here and there, but uh, I did not have a lot of sleep last night. And I did not actually plan on doing a lot of commentary for this video, or at all, actually. But, I just want to talk to you guys. I just want to talk something. I just want to talk about something, so why not? Uh, the dude came in with an uppercut. He got slipped and countered by a hook. Which must be done uh, from a predictive standpoint you can't you, you can't do that stuff online on reaction you just have to you just have to anticipate way 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 more i've talked about that in uh, one of my striking tips and combos videos i think the second one that was but i mean it's 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 more it applies more than ever these counter hooks they're way too slow way too slow like i don't get why you would totally kill almost totally kill this style of fighting i mean i get if you nerf the damage all right i get when you nerf the stamina cost for missed and blocked and whiffed strikes uh counter strikes all right but if you make them so slow if you make these counter hooks from out from out of the slips that slow that where you perfectly slip a jab or an uppercut and by the time you're coming back with the overhook that you immediately threw after your slip that by that time the guy is able to block again and you're getting punished for just simply counter striking on the action or just like not being super crazy anticipated uh, anticipative anticipative oh, I'm sorry I'm like I said I'm messing up a little content give me a break but nonetheless like uh, I think counter striking got double buffed. There's like one level of uh, nerf. I mean, double nerfed. There's one le level of nerving, nerfing that is too much. I don't feel like this is striking. Counter striking is balanced at all. Uh, I think it's very weak. Uh, I think it's eventually, if people just get in the meta that I've just recently seen then then we will just have a shit ton of black break battles and that's it this is what the game will turn into if counter striking will not get balanced out properly and if you think about what they actually try to balance out which is moving forward slip duck moving forward duck slip hooks duck uppercuts duck slips that that was the thing that they tried to nerf and eventually oh my god I just took that guy's neck I just took that guy's neck Anthony Joshua Vlad Klitschko all over again oh, oh that knockout I need to send I need to send that knockout somewhere I need to need send that knockout somewhere to someone to someone where it's to be seen. Oh my god. Do you have any suggestions? Who can I send that knockout to? Comment below. And yeah, the fireball kit gets another W in ranked. But yeah, counter striking. Man. I don't feel like it's balanced at all and I think a lot of people share the same thoughts the same opinion like I know like I've been reading a lot of comments I'm actually reading all of your comments like there's no I don't think there's a single comment on this channel that I have not read 
All right, maybe there are 2,000 comments that I have not read, but um, I've definitely got alerted at one point. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I did. I I I do read all your comments, so uh, nothing will be ever forgotten, and in a negative and a positive way. So you better watch out with your comedy. So you better watch out what you're commentating on, you know. Oh, so another thing that I want to talk about right here real quick is our this week's uploads. As you might know, we did have LEC, the live event competition over the weekend. It's still not over. So after I'm done uploading this video, I will get back to it. I will grind the heck out of that leaderboard. I was 25 and oh at one point. Uh, Stop playing there. Wrong mistake. R really bad mistake. Should have not done this. Um, <coughs> as you might know, we did have, or actually still have, the LEC running right now. Uh, as of the time of this recording and eventually I will get back to it I will gather more and more gameplay and uh, <laughs> I already have a lot a lot of LEC gameplay so I'm, uh, I'll make something special I'll make something special for uh, the boogie woman Joanna Jacek um, so yeah be watch out for those videos tomorrow night or afternoon uh, depending on where you live and um, there are definitely more than one LEC video coming what what is LEC if you did not catch it if you are in the EA UFC community and uh, you have been living under the rock for the last two years then I will explain it m tomorrow what LEC stands for what it is about most of the time and uh, what it is about sometimes and by the end of this week we do have now you can get hyped we do have the return the comeback of UFC 2 gameplay footage yes yes UFC 2 we will bring it back on the channel. The best MMA game there was ever. Um, most realistic striking system there can possibly be in a video game of all times. You know what I mean? The great. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. We will have a comeback of for the record later this week. You can get hyped. I know a lot of you people love that series. We stopped after episode 5 for various reasons that I will explain in that upcoming episode this week. And yeah, y'all can get hyped for that. Also, I want to know who do you guys have? The last part of this commentary. Who do you have in a uh, Pretty much 99% sure, most likely to happen matchup between Khabib Nurmagomedov and some fella from Ireland called Conor McGregor. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, please elaborate a little on your thoughts and predictions if that fight might happen. Because I don't feel like Georges St. Pierre will end up fighting Khabib anytime soon like Ariel said uh, they do have some unfinished business down there at 155 and I think he's right I think Connor and Khabib eventually does have to happen um, not too far away I think first Connor has to get his uh, trouble sorted out that he just recently started with the bus, uh, the bus is still a little salty. He, the bus might might sue him for some vandalism. 
and uh, when that whole stuff is done I believe they will keep on rolling the Khabib versus Connor promo machine Russia 60 million Ireland 6 million come here with your Burger King where is Burger King and like went a real Brooklyn gangster he real gangster Connor Connor won't fight boss <laughs> I'm sorry couldn't help myself let me know all your thoughts on that and enjoy the rest of this gameplay with Tom the fireball kid Duquenois from France from the Jackson Wing Academy um, leave a like if you enjoyed this leave a dislike if you did not uh, subscribe if you haven't already move on to another channel if you did not like it uh, click the notification button if you do not want to miss the next upload uh, let it be if you don't give up for and I'll see you guys soon peace